my family the evil plot to rob Harry of his DNA. My family, did you know that there was a plot to rob Prince Harry of his DNA? My family, well, now you know. My family, I ought to read you Prince Harry's witness statement that he made in court, my family, pertaining to this evil, cruel plot to rob Harry of his DNA. My family, an article from the people on 15 December 2002. This article, which was published on page 4 of the people and was written by Dean Rosewell, reported a plot to steal a sample of my DNA to test my parentage. My family, on a tabloid, they are writing articles of this plot to steal a sample of Harry's DNA. You know, how can anyone even side with tabloids who speak in that manner? How can anyone side or condone the behavior of this evil tabloids in the UK? How? My family, stealing is wrong, basically. Especially Try to steal a sample of someone's DNA. My family. My family is wrong. And it needs to be called out. My family, what they did to Harry, even when he was so young, was basically criminal behavior. My family. Harry then says, and I call my family, I now understand that Dean Rosewell is well known in this litigation as having used unlawful gathering of information techniques himself and also a habitual commissioner of private investigators, including JJ services and commercial and legal services. Harry then says, and I quote, Numerous newspapers had reported a rumor that my biological father was James Hewitt, a man my mother had a relationship with after I was born. At the time of this article and others similar to it, I wasn't actually aware that my mother had not met Major Hewitt until after I was born. This timeline is something I only learned of in around 2014. Although I now understand this was common knowledge amongst the defendants Journalists, my family. At the time when I was 18 years old and had lost my mother just six years earlier, stories such as this felt very damaging and very real to me. They were hurtful, mean, and cruel. I was always left questioning the motives behind the stories. What the newspapers keen to put doubt into the minds of the public so I might be ousted from the royal family? My family is so wrong what they put Harry through. My family is very, very clear that Harry was surrounded by a web of unlawful activities conducted against him by UK tabloids. Just hear this. Harry then says, and I quote, of particular concern to me in this article are the comments from the highly placed royal source, 
which gave details of how this alleged plot would have been carried out and more importantly, that my DNA would be sold abroad. My family, how are people who plotted to do this to hurt my family, how are they not in jail? You know, it shows a failure, first of all, from Charles as a father to keep his own son safe. I'm also sad in my family that even in Harry's memoir spare, Charles will make fun at Harry, saying that he does not even know if really he is Harry's father. Despicable. Utterly despicable. You know? Maybe that's why he doesn't even care about Harry's bi racial kids, my family. Aside from the racism within the royal family, my family is clear. Charles just does not care about Harry. My family, Harry then says, my family, allow me to continue with what Harry said, my family. I'm not sure from where or who these comments were obtained from because they feel like a huge security risk. Effectively, putting a price on my DNA for anyone who could obtain it. I firmly do not believe that these are details anyone from within the palace would have shared given the measures put in place for the security of all members of the royal family. My family, Harry's lawyers have also shown him three contribution request payments to Gavin Barrows of IIG Europe Limited for up to £5,000. Gavin Barrows was a private investigator. This one, my family, with a reference called Prince Harry Special and which was approved by the editor, Neil Wallace. £1,000 and £250, which given their dates, seem to relate to this article. I believe this shows that MGN were using unlawful means of gathering information about me from this article. Harry then mentions one other article on the Mirror on 16 December 2002. Plot to steal Harry's DNA, my family. Harry then says of oh, that article is a follow-on on the article, you know, detailed above from people. Written just a day later. The article elaborates on the money that could be obtained from obtaining my DNA and selling it on to a foreign newspaper. It reports that St. James Palace believed my DNA was to be offered to a foreign newspaper for tens of thousands of pounds and Harry was just a child. Just a child, my family. You know, the next time you see you can media saying that, you know, Harry wants to be back into the role for my family. My family, just read them this stuff of what they did to Harry. This plot to steal Harry's DNA. My family, you know, no one would ever want to come back to return to this, my family. This kinds of, you know, criminal tabloids, my family, behaving in, you know, unlawful, unethical ways, my family. My family, then Harry proceeds to say, again, I don't believe this information would have been put into the public domain by anyone at the palace given the security risk 
this possesses. The article also reports that Spain was thought to be a strong possibility for the location of the honey trap to take place. Again, Harry says, and I quote, I'm not sure where the defendant's journalists would have got this information from. Harry then says, my family. My family, what they put Harry through, even at such a young age, my family was just so wrong, so wrong, so wrong, so wrong. And my family, it was the job of Charles as a father to keep his son safe. My family, how can you have tablets speaking of stealing your son's DNA, my family, and I can't even hear a statement, you know, from Charles, my family himself, to the entire world, Harry is my son. Harry is my son. Harry is my biological son. Leave him alone. Protect your son, Charles. But sadly, Charles did not do that. Instead, he kept on feeding his son to the walls, the UK tablet press. My family. And even someone says pertaining to this story, my family, on Twitter. What a cruel person Charles truly is. Imagine a father without the milk of human kindness towards his own young son. He did not even release a statement challenging this. My family, Charles truly is not someone even worthy of being called a father. Truly, he is not, my family, worthy of being called a father. I'm so sorry, Harry, of what you've had to experience. I'm so sorry of what Harry has had to endure at the hands of this UK tablet, my family, who engage in criminal behavior. I'm so, so sorry what Harry has had to experience, my family. It's just so wrong, my family. You know? And my family, I want to read you, my family, what Charles said about Harry. My family also, very cruel, what Charles did, my family from what Harry said in his memoir. Harry truly missed out on, a love, on the love of a mother. When his mother passed away, my family, after being chased by Parazzi in France, my family, she died in a car accident, my family, partly because of the actions of UK media, paying those Parazzi to chase after Diana. My family, please kindly hear this. What Harry said, my family, Charles is unworthy of being called a father. My family, here is what Harry said, and I quote. Pa like telling stories. And this was one of the best in his repertoire. He'd always end with a burst of philosophizing. If this patient could be so thoroughly convinced of his identity, no less than Pa, it raised some very big questions indeed. Who could say which of us was sane? Who could be sure they weren't the patient? Hopelessly deluded, humored by friends and family, who knows if I'm really the Prince of Wales? Who knows if I'm even your real father? Charles tells Harry. Maybe your real father is in Broadmoor, darling boy. He'd laugh and laugh, though it was a remarkably unfunny joke. Given the rumor circulating just then that my actual father was one of mommy's 
former lovers, Major James Hewitt. One cause of this rumor was Major James Hewitt flaming ginger hair. But another cause was sadism. Tower readers were delighted by the idea that the younger child of Prince Charles wasn't the child wasn't the child of Prince Charles. They couldn't get enough of this joke for some reason. Maybe it made them feel better about their lives that a young prince's life was laughable. Never mind that my mother did not meet Major James Hewitt, Major James Hewitt until long after I was born. The story was simply too good to drop. The press rehashed it, embroidered it, my family, and there was even talk that some reporters were seeking my DNA to prove it. My first intimation that after torturing my mother and sending her into hiding, they would soon be coming for me. My family, you know, when I read this, Something comes to my mind, my family. And yet you get able to believe. Somehow Harry really wants to come back into the royal fold. Come back and be forced to sit down with the same tablets that put Harry through so much pain and suffering. You know? All this criminal behavior. This web of unlawful activity the tower is committing against Harry, even plotting to steal his DNA. To the point that Harry thinks, my family, after tutoring his mother and sending her into hiding, that they were also coming for him. My family, no child should ever feel this way. No one should ever be made to go through this. And sadly, Charles made his son go through this pain, my family, when even he, my family, tried jokingly, my family, to imply that my family, and I quote, who knows if I'm even your real father? Something which wasn't even a joke. It's something that hurt Prince Harry. It hurt Harry's feelings. It hurt him deeply. My family. Now my family. Harry then says. To this day. Nearly every biography. Of me. Every longish profile in a paper or magazine. Touches on Major Hewitt. Treats the prospect. Of his paternity. With some seriousness, my family, including a description of the moment power finally sat me down for a proper heart to heart, reassuring me that Major Hewitt wasn't my real father. Vivid scene, poignant, moving, and wholly made up. If Pa had any thoughts about Major Hewitt, he kept them to himself. My family, Charles is just a failed father. You know, no wonder he really doesn't care about, you know, Megan, Archie, really, but no wonder, really. No wonder, my family. I get why. Based on what I'm reading, my family, clearly, he does not even care about his own son, Harry. My family. They only want Harry, the spare, to be miserable and happy. You know, unloved, lonely, single. That's what they want for Harry. You know, and unhappy. And they also want to split him from his wife, Megan, my family. That's what they want. My family, once again, I'm sorry, Harry. I'm so, so sorry what you've been made to go through by Charles in your life. I'm so, so sorry. No father should ever treat his own son in this manner. As I've always said my family. Charles only called darling boy. 
Harry Darling boy, my family, as a way of manipulating Harry to believing that he cared about Harry, that Charles cared about Harry, my family, a form of manipulation, my family. When Charles saw my family that he could not control Harry, not anymore, that Harry was fighting back against his press friends whom he needed to back, you know, his kingship. My family, Harish, you know, Charles showed his true color, my family. By siding with his press friends over his own son, my family. That's what Charles truly has shown my family. His so-called love for Harry only extended so much as he could use Harry. Same as William. When they saw they could not use him, they cast Harry out into the wilderness, my family. Alone, unprotected, my family. Without security, my family, they stripped Harry and his by special family of their security. My family, that's what Charles did. And by doing that, he showed truly, my family, that he does not care one bit about, you know, Harry, Meghan, Archie, Lily Petana. My family, he showed his true colors. My family, and that is who Charles has always been. My family, Prince Harry can never ever come back to this. Never. Never, my family. He can never ever come back to this, my family. I get that he might want, you know, his, he wants his father back or his brother back, but my family, let me just say this, my family, that he is better off without them. Because clearly how they put, what they've done to Harry in his life, my family, has been just so wrong. Harry has a forgiving heart, my family. Harry has a forgiving heart. You know, I've seen that about him. He has a forgiving heart. But my family, there are people who you are much better off staying as far away as you can. Away from my family. Like how Megan has done with Thomas Markle and Samantha Markle, my family. You know, she does not tolerate her abusers one bit. You know? I also hope that time comes that also Harry, you know, does the same thing, my family also. Now, my family, can you tell me your thoughts, my family, about the evil plot of the tablets on Prince Harry, my family, trying to steal Harry's DNA? My family, how can anyone side with tablets even when they hear that in court? It should appall and disgust anyone of what they tried to do to Harry. My family, this Actions are unethical, evil, immoral, and just wrong. My family, just wrong. My family, I'm really sorry, Harry, for what they put you through. You know, it makes sense why Harry has felt so much pain, my family, for losing his mother. Because clearly, Harry's mother was the only one, truly, who loved Harry. And now it's Megan, Archie, Lilibet, and Doria who love Harry as well, my family. I'm happy he has that. But sadly, UK Tablets have also tried to destroy that love. My family. They've been trying to this day. My family, they continue trying to destroy that love. You know, just to make the spare miserable and happy. Before the fate of the late Princess Margaret. My family, not this time, not this time, my family. My family, I hope Harry gets justice for unethical, for the unethical criminal activities that were done against him. I hope Harry gets justice, my family. You know, even at such a young age, my family, he was put through this, my family. I'm, I'm also happy that Archie Lilibet, Diana will grow up far away from those evil, bigoted tabloids in the UK. They are very much racist my family i'm happy that Archie Lilibet will grow up away from those evil uk tabloids my family you know i'm happy that harry megan Archie Lilibet live in america with their kids 
my family. And I'm also happy that Harry is looking for justice. He's seeking justice after being wronged for so many years. You know, I understand his quest for justice. You know, I understand that. And he should get justice. I hope he gets justice in my family. I hope this tab with the mirror is held to account for its criminal activity against Harry, my family. Harry deserves to get justice. And I understand why he's pursuing justice in my family. They have wronged him so, so much. From such a young age, my family, they have wronged him. They have caused him so much pain and harm. My family. And my family, I hope Harry gets his justice, my family. I hope Harry gets justice. My family and accountability, my family. That's what I hope for Harry, my family. Now, please kindly tell me your thoughts about this, my family. Kindly, i like to please hear your opinion, my family. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Lipidana, and Doria Raglan, and all of you members of the squad at home. Charles truly is a failed father. William, a failed brother. My family. May Harry always live a happy life. And may he get justice, my family. I hope he gets justice, my family. Stay tuned on this video. Love you always and forever. No media outlet should have phones. No one should behave that way. No media outlet, my family, should be stealing someone's DNA, anyone's DNA. My family, people who do that belong in prison. And I hope those who have wronged Harry end up in prison. Those who have engaged in phone hacking, attempts at stealing Harry's DNA. My family, those people belong in jail, not on TV or writing articles. My family, they belong in prison. And I hope this court case, my family, that Harry wins and also people who have wronged him engage in criminal activity end up in prison. Stay tuned on this video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.